In this video, I wanted to talk about how you might integrate MySQL into your forensics investigation. Now, the first question you might have is, why do I want to do this? Sometimes you might want to look at very large volumes. You know, our example is fairly small. It's less than 20 gigabytes. So it took a little bit of time to sort through that. But if you had something where you have millions and millions of files, it might take a really long time in order to operate with that inside your spreadsheet. So if you want to optimize that a little bit, you could use a database. So MySQL is pretty simple. If it's not already installed, you can install it with sudo apt-get install mysql-server and in my case, it will tell me you already have it. Once you've installed MySQL, you need to create a database, and that's pretty easily done with MySQL admin, create, and then you can give it the name of your database, say case 2015-39. Now it told me that it failed, and the reason that it failed is I neglected to give MySQL a password. So by the way, when you install MySQL, it will prompt you for things like this. So I will give it dash u root dash p for please ask me for a password. So I will give it the correct password and it's done. I've created a database. The next thing I need to do is I need to actually log on to this database. So if I type mysql-u root dash p, it will ask me for my password, and I can type connect and the name of my database, case 2015-3-9, and it says you're connected. So the first thing I want to do is import all of my information from the CSV file. So how can I do that? Well, I wrote some pretty simple SQL, now, there's a couple ways you could go here. To keep it simple, I wrote some SQL in a file, and I'm just going to copy and paste it into my SQL. And this allows me to do things like change file names. So the first thing I want to do is create a table called Files. So I'll create a table. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my SQL, and I'm going to paste it. And it says zero rows affected, which is correct for creating the table. There's nothing in it yet. So if I go back now to my editor, I can run this command. Now, this command, load data in file, is really useful in MySQL. A couple of things you should know. You must have the file in an approved directory. And this is a security thing that's set up in MySQL. Now, if you want to work really hard, you can go into the config file and you can change this. Or if you're feeling somewhat lazy, you can do what I did and throw it into temp, which is normally an approved place. So you can copy your CSV file to temp and then you call load data in file and give it the file name and put it into your table files and tell it my fields are terminated by a semicolon. That's how I set up my script before. They're enclosed by double quotes and the lines are terminated by backslash n. I've also said please ignore the first row because the first row just had the header information that labeled the different columns. Now, if it was a simple table, I would be done. However, I have a bunch of dates, and those dates have to get converted. And there's a function called stir to date that I have to call. So this makes this SQL statement a little bit more complicated because I have to do this. I have to list out explicitly each column. If I didn't need to change anything, I wouldn't have to do this. And we'll see an example of that a little later. So here I am, and I need to put in at access date, and then access time, at modify date, modify time, at create date, create time, etc. And then I have this set statement. I said set access date equal to stir to date of this value here. Now I was capturing this value, and my strings are in this 
format, kind of the standard US format, if you will, month, date, and four digit year. And the same thing is true for the other two dates. So if I copy this and I go ahead and paste it into my terminal, it will import all of that data, which will take just a little bit. And it tells me it just imported 184,601 rows. And it took 6.37 seconds, not too bad. So I can do some simple queries. Probably the simplest one would be something like this. Select star from files, order by access date, access time. And if I want it descending, I say DESC semicolon, and it'll take just a couple seconds. And here I have my information. Now, in my case, this is just scrolling by, but I could pretty easily save this to a file. Well, that's all for this video.